Hello my dear students. In today's video, we are going to solve exercise 2.3 from the textbook of CBSC Board NCIT Mathematics of Grade 6. So, let's solve. Here, this is the first question. Which of the following will not represent 0? Now, we have to find the uh, equation from this given 4 equations which will give you the answer uh, leaving 0. Means, which will not give the answer as 0. Okay, so let's solve one by one. The first one is 1 plus 0. As we know, 1 plus 0 is 1. Now, let's check second one. That is 0 into 0. As I have told in my previous video as uh, if we multiply any number with 0 or 0 with 0 will give you the answer as 0. Now, let's check the third one. 0 upon 2. If we uh, divide 0 by any number, we will get the answer as 0 only. Okay. So, let's check the fourth one. That is 10 minus 10 upon 2. So, 10 minus 10 will give you the answer as 0. So, 0 upon 2. And as I have told now only, as if we divide 0 by any number, we will get the answer as 0. So, from the given options, A, 1 plus 0 will not represent 0 because it is giving the answer as 1. But the remaining equations are giving the answer as 0. Okay. Now, let's move to the second question. The second question is, if the product of two whole numbers is 0, can we say that one or both of them will be 0? Justify through the examples. Okay. So, um, they are asking that if the product of two whole numbers is 0, can we say that one or both of them will be 0? The answer is yes. Because one of them or both the numbers must be 0. Because when we multiply any number with 0 gives us the answer as 0 only. And if we multiply 0 with 0 then also we will get 0 as the answer. For example, uh, if we multiply 5 into 0 it will give you 0. Let's take one more example as 211 into 0, it also will give you the answer as 0. And same way 0 into 0 is equal to 0. Okay. So, let's move to the third question. It says that if the product of two whole numbers is 1, can we say that one or both of them will be 1? Justify through examples. The answer for this question is no. If both the numbers are 1, then only the product will be 1. A, because when we multiply any number with 1 gives the same answer. The answer as the number only, not 1. And if we multiply 1 with 1, then only the product will be 1. For example, if we multiply 5 into 1 will give you the answer as 5. 234 into 1 will give you the answer as 231. But if we multiply 1 into 1, it will give you the answer as 1. Okay. Now let's move to the fourth question. That is, find using distributive property. Now let's solve one by one. Okay. So first is 728 into 101. Distributive property says that we can split one of the number given in the question and we can uh, multiply. It will become easier for us. Okay. So, here we will dis uh, split 101 as 100 plus 1. Now, uh, the distributive property is A into B plus C. When we compare these two equations, we understand that A is equal to 728, B is equal to 100 and C is equal to 1. Now, let's put this value of A, B, C in the second part of the distributive property that is A into B plus A into C. So, 728 into 100 plus 728 into 1. Now, here we got, we have to multiply 728 into 100. Now, 
in one of my video i have told you that if we get one number with zeros at the end that time we have to multiply the other number with the number which is present before the zeros means here we have to multiply 728 with one only so 728 into 1 is equal to 728 now we have to put the remaining zeros at the end of the answer now here zeros are 2 so we will put two zeros at the end of the answer okay now 728 into 1 is 728 now let's add this give you the answer as 73528 okay now let's move to the second that is 5437 into 1001 Now here we will split that one thousand one as one thousand plus one. Okay, so five thousand four hundred and thirty-seven into one thousand plus one. Now let's write the distributive property. That is a into b plus c. When we compare these two, we get the answer as a is equal to five thousand four hundred and thirty-seven, b is equal to one thousand, and c is equal to one. Now we will put the values of a, b, c in the second part of the distributive property. That is, a into b plus a into c. So it became five thousand four hundred and thirty-seven into one thousand plus five thousand four hundred and thirty-seven into one. Now we will multiply this five thousand four hundred and thirty-seven into one thousand. It will give you the answer as fifty-four lakh thirty-seven thousand. And five thousand four hundred thirty-seven into one is five thousand four hundred thirty-seven. Now let's add. We got the answer as fifty-four lakh forty-two thousand four hundred thirty-seven. Okay. Now let's move to the third. Uh, that is eight hundred and twenty-four into twenty. Twenty-five. Sorry. Hmm. Now here we will split this twenty-five as twenty plus five. Now distributive property is a into b plus c. So when we compare, we got as a is equal to 824, b is equal to 20, and c is equal to 5. Now let's put these values in the uh, second part of the distributive property. That is a into b plus a into c. So uh, it became 824 into 20 plus 824 into 5. Now 824 into Two we have to do. Okay, so two four is eight. Two two is four. Two eight is sixteen. So we got the answer as one thousand six hundred and forty-eight. And now we have to put the remaining zero at the end of the answer. So the answer became sixteen thousand four hundred and eighty. Now let's multiply eight hundred and twenty-four into five. Five four is twenty, so two is on carry. Five two is ten plus two is twelve, so one is on carry. Five eight is forty plus one is forty one, so we got the answer as four thousand one hundred and twenty. Now let's add these two numbers. Zero plus zero zero. Eight plus two ten, so one is on carry. Four plus one is five plus carried one is six, so Ah, uh, the next six plus four is ten, so one is on carry. Now one plus one is two, so we got the answer as twenty thousand six hundred, and this is the final answer of this equation. Okay, now let's move to the fourth. That is four thousand two hundred and seventy-five into one hundred and twenty-five. Now here we will split this one hundred and twenty-five as one hundred plus twenty-five. Okay. Now let's write the distributive property. That is a into b plus c. Now when we compare these two, we got the answer as a is equal to four thousand two hundred and seventy-five, b is equal to hundred, and c is equal to twenty-five. Now let's put the values of a, b, c in the second part of the distributive property. That is a into b plus a into c. It gives four thousand two hundred and seventy-five into hundred plus four thousand two hundred and seventy-five into twenty-five. You can further do the calculation as splitting this twenty-five as twenty plus five, but it will become uh, too much complicated. So we will directly multiply four thousand two hundred and seventy-five into twenty-five. Okay, first uh, the answer of four thousand two hundred and seventy-five into hundred is four thousand two hundred and seventy-five into hundred plus four thousand two hundred and seventy-five into twenty-five. 
4,27,500. Now let's multiply this 4,275 into 25. So first we will multiply with the 5 uh, from 25. So 5 5 is 25. So 2 is on carry. 5 7 is 35 plus 2 is 37. So 3 is on carry. 5 2 is 10 plus 3 is 13. So 1 is on carry. 5 4 is 20 plus 1 is 21. Now we have to multiply with 2. So we will put plus sign at the unit place. Now 2 5 is 10. So 1 is on carry. 2 7 is 14 plus 1 5. 15. So 1 is on carry. 2 2 is 4 plus 1 is 5. 2 4 is 8. So let's add this now. 5. 7 plus 0 is 7. 5 plus 3 is 8. 5 plus 1 is 6. 2 plus 8 is 10. So we got the answer as um, 1 lakh 6800. Sorry. Uh, 1,6875. Now let's add these two numbers. So 0 plus 5 is 5. 0 plus 7 is 7. 5 plus 8 is 13. So 1 is on carry. So 7 plus 6 is 13 plus 1 is 14. So 1 is on carry. 2 plus 1 is 3. 4 plus 1 is 5. So the final answer of this equation is 5,34,375. Now let's move to the fifth one. That is 504 into 35. Now first we will exchange the places with the help of commutative property. So 35 into 504. Now we will split this 504 as 500 plus 4. Okay. Now let's write the distributive property. Now when we compare we got the answer as A is equal to 35, B is equal to 500 and C is equal to 4. Now let's put these values of A, B, C in the second part of the distributive property that is A into B plus A into C. So we got as 35 into 500 plus 35 into 4. So first we will multiply 35 into 5. 5, 5 is a 25. So 2 is on carry. 5 3 is a 15 plus 2 is 17. So uh, 35 into 5 is equal to 175. But there are two zeros at the end of one of the number. So we will write the answer as 175 and two zeros. Okay. So ne now we will multiply 35 into 4. 5 4s are 20 so 2 is on carry. 4 3 is um, uh, 12 plus 2 14. So the 35 into 4 is 114. Now let's add. We got the answer as 17,614. Okay. Now we will move to the next question that is study the pattern. Now here they have given one pattern and they have told us to study this pattern. Okay. So let's check. Here they have written in the first step of the pattern. The first number is 1. In the second step the first number is 12. Means these are two consecutive numbers starting from 1. Okay. Now here uh, the, uh, the first number of the third step is three consecutive numbers are there. And in the fourth step there are four consecutive numbers in the first number. And in the fifth step there are five consecutive numbers. Okay. And then they have put multiplication sign everywhere. Then they have multiplied with 8 in each step and then they have put plus sign in each step and then they have added 1 in the first step, 2 in the second step, 3 in the third step, 4 in the fourth step and 5 in the fifth step and then they got the answer as in the first step they got 9, in the second step they got 9, 8 then third step 9, 8, 7. You are getting the answer right. 9, 8, 7, 6. Then 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Now it is easy to write the next two steps. Okay. They have told us to write the next two steps. So let's write. The next two steps are. First we have to write six consecutive numbers. Starting from 1. Why? Because they have written the first number as Consecutive numbers, if the sixth step we are writing, so six consecutive numbers will come. See here, in the first step, they have written only one number, 
वन डिजिट इन द सेकेंड स्टेप दे हैव रिटर्न ओनली टू कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर्स इन द थर्ड स्टेप थ्री कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर्स सो वी आर राइटिंग नाव यर सिक्स स्टेप सो वी विल राइट सिक्स कॉन्जिक्यूटिव नंबर्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स ओके नाउ एज दे हैव मल्टीप्लाइड एट मल्टीप्लाइड विथ एट इन ईच स्टेप सो वी विल मल्टीप्लाई हियर ऑल्सो विथ एट ओके नाउ दे हैव एडेड the number of uh, um, means if the first step is there we have to add with 1 if second step is there we have to add with 2 as this is the sixth step we have to add here with 6 okay then we will get the answer as see here here 9 is there then the number increased with the the before number the num before of 9 is 8 so they have written here 9 8 Then nine eight seven. Here nine eight seven six. Nine eight seven six five. So now we will get nine eight seven six five four. Okay. And this is the sixth step. Now let's write seventh step. Uh, first we have to write seven consecutive numbers starting from one. One two three four five six seven. Now we have to multiply with eight. Now we have to add seven because this is the seventh step. Okay. Now we will get the answer as nine eight seven six five four three. Okay. It's easy, na? You will write. You can write easily eight step, nine step, and so on. Okay. So here the exercise two point three eight. um if you like my teaching then please like share and subscribe to my channel bye everyone